Good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, it's Monday morning for me here. Um, kind of exciting Monday morning. Um, last week, I started a new shift here at work. Sorry for the mask. I'm here in the hospital. Um, I started a new shift, um, which I'm kind of excited about. It's a shift I used to have uh, years ago, and I lost it at my last job. And I lost it at this job, but they have now offered it as a uh, flexible work week option. Um, so I am now working Monday through Thursday, 10 hours a day. So 7.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m., uh, half hour lunch. Yeah. Um, but I like that shift. I have always liked the 4 by 10 work week. And uh, if that's something that interests you, I love three-day weekends. I love them. Now that's something that's interesting, interest of interest to you. You should uh, check into it at your workplace. See if they offer that. Um, today, what I thought I would talk about. I'm here in one of our uh, wiring closets, one of our fabulous wiring closets, and I thought I'd talk a little bit about uh, um, how we're wired up. What's the, what is, uh, you know, I, I think I showed pictures of our network, um, but what does it really look like? So. What we have out there, you'll have a computer. The computer is connected into a phone. The phone is connected into the wall. Plugs into a wall jack. Each one of those jacks are labeled with uh, a number very similar to this one. So, um, this is going to be in room 1307. It's, uh, and the way they do it is if there's more than one jack in the room, it's the first jack is going to be A1307. Second jack in the room is going to be B1307. Um, and then on each wall, the, the trailing letter in, corresponds to the wall it's on, wall A, B, C, or D. So you'll see A1307A, B1307A. That means they're in the same room, but they're on different walls. If they're on the same wall, you'd see A1307A, and if it's on the same wall next to it, it would be A1307B. And then we have four data drops per jack. So they're marked A, B, C, or D. And that was kind of confusing when I first got here, the way they did that. Um, so a jack would be A1307A-A. -A. And uh, that, that <laughs> leading letter and trailing letter just threw me for a loop when I first got here. Okay, so <laughs> complicated jack labeling explained. Computer plugs into the jack. You come out here and I, I have my snazzy new slim line patch, slim run patch cable. So the jack will plug into the switch. So this is where the end users enter the network right here. And this is where 90% of my work actually ends up being is plugging these jacks in and making sure they work, tagging the right VLANs. Um, so, okay. So this is the first hop, the, or the first step in the process of being on the network. Is they come in, they plug into the wall, plug into the switch. Now, where does this switch go? Let's go find out. I'm going to put you on pause, and I'll bring you back off when we're down there. All right, we are now down in the basement, which is where that switch is wired to. I'm going to try to do a little bit of talking out here because it's going to get really noisy where I'm going. I'm going to the MDF. Uh, medium density facility. I forget what MDF stands for. Sorry. Look it up. It's on Google. Would you like? All right. So we come down here into the MDF. That switch, that closet, goes into a fiber patch panel. And it'll come down into one of these fiber patch panels right here. We've got all labeled as to what room they go to. Fiber will come in here and it'll get patched over to two places. So the fiber will get patched in down to this switch and this switch. I've talked about these before. They're bonded together, so they think they're one switch. So 
we got two fiber pair that go up to that switch. One fiber pair comes in here, one fiber pair goes in here. We completely lose this switch. We still got this one, hopefully, uh, to, to do all the switching duties. Um, the only bad thing about this is if you reboot one, you reboot the other. So, not optimal. That's why I want to get rid of that. Um, when we move to fabric, that switch stays the same. This fiber connection is going to swing from over here to over here to this switch. I actually wanted both of these switches. So one of those fiber pairs from over there is going to come over into this top switch, and one's going to come over here into this bottom switch. With these, we can reboot them and not lose connectivity. So if I reboot this switch here, this switch is going to keep running. If I reboot this switch, this switch is going to keep running. Since we're also going to be pulling uh, that switch upstairs over to the data center, I can reboot both of these switches and that closet appears to keep running. So that's, that's the future, that's fabric. And that's actually happening in a couple of weeks. So okay, all these closets now currently come to this switch here. This switch here then uses four fiber pairs, which are actually routed over here. Oops, I left the ladder sitting here, shame on me. Those, those fiber pairs come across this ladder rack up here, down over this mess right here. We go into this patch panel, which then goes across the campus to our data center. So uh, let's walk over there next and see where it goes. But this is basically the aggregation point. So all the all the closets in the hospital come right here, right here. So they're all aggregated into this 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 big switch right here. This switch runs over the data center. So, let's run over there, and I'll show you where that ties in. Oh, I was walking back over there. I just got to show you something I am so excited about. Um, that is blue sky. We have not had blue sky in California in I don't know how long because of the wildfires. So, uh, it's so nice to breathe fresh, clean air for a change. All right, going to continue to walk. Meet you over at the data center. All right, we have finally made it to the data center, and I will have to talk loud in here because it is very loud in here. So that fiber that I pointed to comes over here to this patch panel, <laughs> and it comes through to this even bigger mess. So this is our main core right here. It's basically the same type of switch we had down in the basement. They're just more slots. Four slots in that one, eight slots in this one. We have one here and another one down here in parallel. They're bonded together to think they're one switch. But this guy, the S8, it's an Interesis S8 series, Secure Stack 8. That is basically our core. It does our routing. Everything connects back to this. Once it gets through here, it hits, hits layer three, and this, this tells it where everywhere to go. All the routing, as I said numerous times. That'll go up in here to our firewall. Look, look where. So we have two Palo Alto firewalls. One's active and one's a standby. From here, it can go into either our DMZ, which is up there. I think it's the bottom switch, it's our DMZ. And then, that middle switch there, top one's just a spare, it's not doing anything. The middle switch is our outside switch. So that's where the raw internet is. It goes right into that. And then that gets routed back down to the MDF, which is where our DMARC is for AT&T. So to get to the internet for the hospital, they go down to the basement. They come over here. They go through our firewall. They get into that switch. They go back to the basement and then out and uh, that's kind of, that was clutched together early on when this network was built. It predates me. So again, what we're going to do is take all this mess and 
swing it over here to this cleanliness right here. So it's going to go to one of, one of these two switches. One of the, switch, one of the new core switches is right there. The other new core switch is right there. And uh, they're all going to handle the routing. So the routing will be done in a, in a virtual routing uh, bubble, as you were, VRF they call it. Um, that's going to be kind of shared between these two switches and the two switches in the basement. So all four of those will basically become what this guy currently is. So anyway, that's, uh, that's the physical layout. You always see networks on paper, but you never see what it really looks like. That's what it really looks like. Um, the challenge as we move over to fabric is going to be incorporating all of this old OM1 mess. It comes from our older facilities. Uh, incorporating it in over here onto the new switch is going to be a challenge. So yeah, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So. Anyway, I hope you found that informative or at the very least entertaining. So I will say uh, God bless for now. Uh, hope everything is well with you guys. Uh, I really appreciate all the new subscribers. You've put my channel over a thousand subscribers, which is wonderful. I don't get anything out of it, but it's, it's wonderful. So I'm so glad to have you guys along. So uh, God bless. Take care of yourselves. Uh, hit subscribe. Hit the notification if you want. And uh, we'll catch you next time. God bless.